Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another reading for December. I figure it's time for an update. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up for you. Hold on, I got something on my shirt. <laughs> anyway, um, Virgo, this is for the sign of Virgo. What do we need to hear? December. What does Virgo need to hear? What, what, what's going on with these Virgos? I happen to be Virgo rising. This ought to be interesting. Maybe a decision has been made to end one contract and begin another one. That's what that kind of says to me. You know, there's no longer a choice. It's like a decision has been made between lovers, perhaps. You know, because upright is making that choice. And I know you guys have and definitely have been cha uh, forced with making that choice or presented with making that choice between two lovers. And this is, this is like the end of one contract. It is. So somebody may be giving up one contract and beginning another, by the looks of things. Hmm, destined change, of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you guys have some something good coming in, really good, with the Wheel of Fortune. Completion of a cycle. So yeah, it looks like there, perhaps there's one contract that has ended and you're headed to a much better place by the looks of things something really good is coming if it hasn't happened already i mean with this there's a new chapter starting once something has completed yeah no more no more juggling no more juggling the two. Oh yeah somebody's made a decision somebody has made a decision i'm not playing games anymore the two of pentacles or the two of coins reversed no more juggling. It's, that was too chaotic. It was too disorganized. You know, so it looks like something is dropping away. Some sort of change is definitely happening. Mm. And there's been some resistance here. Somebody's been keeping it inside, keeping their thoughts, their feelings, their plans inside. But intuition has been guiding them the whole time. Now, twos are about partnerships. We have two and a two, and this is a partnership. So this is a definitely in regards to a partnership. Following the plan. Knowing what you need to do. So I think that you guys have really... gone through some sort of awakening, really really taken a lot of time to contemplate this choice, whatever it is. Somebody is, is not going to put in effort into some contract anymore. Um, there's no togetherness left. There's no compromising left. There's no need to put in any more effort into something. Oh, the hanged man. Yeah, love it. So it's like I'm not going to stay in my thoughts anymore. Seriously, the hanged man reverse. And somebody's been sacrificing themselves needlessly for a situation that was going nowhere. And it's like, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not going to sacrifice myself anymore. I'm standing up for what I believe in. I've become enlightened. Like I said, if somebody's gone through some sort of awakening. They've woken up from their slumber and I'm not going to hang on or be stuck or sacrifice myself for something that is no longer stable. You know, I'm not going to play this game anymore. Given up? Absolutely. And I, I, somebody has given up on something and they've waited for quite some time for the, you know, to receive the, the correct guidance to do so. 
ego got in the way for quite some time. That was this five of swords. Somebody severing ties. Perhaps with a lover or a contract or a person that didn't appreciate them, that didn't respect them, that didn't work with them, that didn't communicate with them. They're severing these ties and bringing something much, much, much better with that wheel of fortune into their lives. Whoever that they were dealing with or did whatever, somebody, they were dealing with somebody in which this person didn't communicate very well. They were very controlling. Um... There was a lot of power struggles and somebody was keeping the truth to themselves, keeping their true feelings to themselves. But it looks to me like we've reached a point where I can't, I can't hold on to this anymore. Can't hold on to this lie anymore. Knowing, knowing that it was a lie and somebody's like, I can't hold on to this lie anymore. I can't, I can't. They're walking away. Somebody is walking away from something. No doubt. So, yeah, we have somebody that is walking away from the struggle, walking away from the lie, walking away from the um, person that wasn't, they weren't compatible with. You know, I'm giving up. I've given up on that situation. And because they have decided they finally you know, woken up after not being awake for so long. Now they have something wonderful coming in. So yes, we have a change of direction, a shift, seriously. It's like the wheel is spinning and it's really spinning now because somebody has made a decision or they're really close to making a decision to sever ties with this incompatible contract. You know, it's just not compatible. Somebody's walking away. Letting go. There's no doubt about it. Somebody is absolutely walking away from an incompatible contract. I mean, that's what we have here. And something better is coming with that Wheel of Fortune. Much, much better. Good luck, good fortune. Whatever is happening is bringing you better, bringing you to a better place where there's no more pain. Letting go, leaving the past behind the three this is wonderful it really is it's like the pain is starting to dissipate you know the three of swords reverse it's you're starting you're on the mend somebody is on the mend um, coming out of darkness coming out of hurt leaving the past hurts behind that's what's going on here after living in misery for quite some time, somebody has been miserable, they've lacked ambition, they've lacked drive, they've lacked confidence and self-worth and self-esteem, and probably because somebody belittled them and put them down and didn't see their worth and, and was trying to control them and totally did steal their self-esteem and self-worth and the whole nine yards, you know? When you get this Five of Swords energy, you were dealing with a person that was very egotistical and had to win, had to control, stole somebody's mojo, per se. But now it looks as though this person, whoever this person, she may have, you know, stayed in misery for quite some time, but this contract is absolutely ending because the pain is starting to dissipate. There's some something going on beneath the surface here. And I, there's there's been something going on beneath the surface for quite some time. It looks as though... We, what is it? New moon? It is new moon, isn't it? Today's the 6th. So, yeah, there's something new coming, okay? With the, with, the new, with the moon, the new moon and the Wheel of Fortune, we have a brand new partnership by the looks of things a brand new chapter is starting for you and the pain is being released the time of misery that somebody has lived in is going to be healed okay somebody is going through some sort of healing they're receiving a blessing wish fulfillment is coming so if you feel like things are not getting better or you feel like things are not going to get better, I'm here to tell you that you're going to, you're receiving some sort of blessing here. And this is a card of healing. It's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. 
and this is like a gift from above. So you are receiving some, if you look rainbows, whenever I see a rainbow, there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. There's light at the end of the rainbow. So somebody is receiving something really, really beautiful after going through a shitload of pain with that three of swords. It's like the ultimate healing. This is also help from above or help. And like I said, there's something going on behind this and or underneath the surface, you know, that you can't see. You know, this whatever has happened was actually a blessing in disguise. It really was. It was a blessing that revealed something about your true self. Something was revealed to you from within. You know, you're in somebody has gone through a spiritual awakening, by the way. I mean I think I've already said that. There's they've revealed something about their soul. You know what I mean? You've got some sort of revelation about who you are. That's what I'm trying to say. About your purpose. These are both, there's purpose here. Something about your purpose. Either way, somebody is headed in a new direction. There's no doubt about it. Somebody is headed in a new direction. Headed towards wish fulfillment. Seriously. Somebody is headed towards wish fulfillment after being in the dark. Now the light is coming, the light, the light, yeah, so the light is being shown. Whatever has been hidden is being revealed. Whatever you've been waiting for, whatever, you know, you, what, why is this all happening? What, you're about to get the answer why this is all happening, why this all happened, is what I'm trying to say. Somebody has been staying in a situation that is unrealistic and dissatisfying, and now they're releasing it. I'm not. I'm not going to be dishonest about it anymore. I'm not. Somebody has been clinging to the past and it looks like they're going to let go of the past. They may have been staying in this situation because of children. Children could have been one of the factors here. Or just the memories have held them back. But now I feel like there's a newfound hope. A newfound lust perhaps for, for life. After it's been gone for so long. It's like all of a sudden you feel like you've been enlightened. You've awakened. You've, you've healed. So yeah, there's been a period of hmm, kind of like misery, you know. But this period of misery has enlightened you. And now it looks as though you're about to defend yourself. You're about to stand up for what you believe in. You're about to fight off the... People that don't support you. You're about to face the music, basically. I'm ready to face the music. Because my dreams and my wishes and my desires are so big. I'm ready. You see the light and you're ready to receive more light. And it looks like you are going to receive more light. You're receiving a blessing. There's no doubt. With the star card and the wheel of fortune, you are receiving some sort of blessing for fighting for yourself. Now, somebody could also be wanting to fight for you. Back up. It's like this person is saying to all these other people, back up. So somebody may be fighting for you. Now, this is, a, this is the Four of Wands. It's like letting go of one commitment. Letting go of something that doesn't make you happy. Closing a door. I think you guys are closing some sort of door that is no longer rich. It's no longer, there's no spark left there wherever you're at. There's no spark. There's no fire. There's no flame. There's no growth. There's no happiness. There's no togetherness. There's no joy. There's no celebration. Here's nothing to celebrate wherever you've been. The door is being closed. And you may, I don't, whatever the... 
wherever you've been, there was a lack of abundance. There's a lack of gratefulness. And it's like, you know what, I'd be better off on my own. But whatever this is, I, I, I really don't feel like you're going to be alone. I don't think you're going to be alone. I feel like this is... If you fear that you're going to be alone, I'm here to tell you, I don't think you're going to be alone because you have a lot to offer. You do have a lot to offer. Um, wherever, and somebody may have stayed in this incompatible, whatever it is, relationship, commitment for money, or fear of being alone. But I feel like we've come to a point where you can't hide it anymore. You can't keep this secret anymore. I, I can't. I'm alone either way, you know, I'm, I'm feeling alone in the relationship, even though it may be abundant it, if my financially, I'm still alone, I'm still alone. So I feel as though somebody fears being alone, but they're not really going to be alone because somebody wants them, somebody does want them, and there's one contract that is coming to an end because somebody is walking away into something much, much more fulfilling. So if you, if you fear that you're going to be alone, I'm here to tell you you're not going to be alone. If you are single and you are watching this, there's something going on behind the scenes, okay, underneath the surface that you can't see that is going to bring you something better. So be patient. With the Wheel of Fortune, the Moon card, and the Star card, if you are single and you are waiting, somebody may be coming into your life that is going to put in effort so keep that in mind. If you are in a relationship now, it looks as though that this, this pairing could be ending because it's not compatible to go after wish fulfillment with somebody that is better suited for you because there's somebody here that's not well suited. Okay, this is not a good suitor. It's not a good suitor. And you have somebody else. You have somebody else that is going to, you know, fight for you. Really, really fight for you. So I feel like there's an end of one contract that brings in something much, much better. There was a purpose that you had to go through this misery, and I know that sucks, but that's life, right? Life isn't always fair. There was a purpose, a purpose, and that purpose has to do with evolving. It has to do with figuring out who you are. It has to do with wake awakening, okay? You have to go some pain. True suffering brings true growth, okay? So that's why people experience pain. Suffering brings true growth. The more, and I hate to say it, but it's the truth, okay? It's the truth. So the suffering that you have been through, the misery, has brought in you the growth to get you ready for this true wish fulfillment. Okay, so keep that in mind. This, this pain, the Three of Swords, and misery that you've had to go through has taught you how to defend yourself the strength to defend yourself and maybe you need to take action and you haven't been taking action so they will continue to poke you and cause misery until you take action so and I know about Virgos how taking action can be difficult somebody hasn't taken action so the universe will continue to poke until you do take action so I feel like somebody has been stalling, especially with the hey man under there, and it's like, no, no, I'm ready for my wish fulfillment, and you are receiving some sort of reward for the misery, so keep that in mind, you are. You're breaking free, somebody is breaking free from a bond that is no longer feasible here, it's not feasible. There's no more passion left there, it's like, no, I'm breaking free, I'm taking, taking back control of my life. Releasing something that has kept them caged, caged in. Somebody's literally breaking free from a relationship and wish fulfillment is like right at the door. Because they do it. It's like right at the door. You break free, you fly away, and you fly right into happiness. That's what it looks like to me. So, yes. Justice. Whatever is happening is going to bring you almost immediate justice and this is the final decision somebody is making a final decision to walk away from something that is no longer justified it's no longer truthful to them because they're ready to bring balance back to their lives they're ready to do the right thing to act with integrity so 
whatever is happening, it, and this is a contract as well. Somebody, I think there's a contract that is coming to an end and a new one is beginning. And I really feel like that is the case. Whatever is happening is bringing, going to bring balance back to your life. That's for darn sure. So... Somebody has been involved in a karmic situation, a karmic contract that is coming to an end. It's, the karmic contract is over. That's what it looks like to me. I'm no longer going to be alone. I'm no longer going to feel alone. Some, it looks as though somebody has been... Juggling, juggling with releasing and making a decision between two paths. But I think that time is up. I'm not going to play this game anymore. I let go. I release. That's what it looks like to me. Somebody is releasing something that isn't feasible and moving right into something much, much, much more better. Like this is a miracle. Okay. So let me get, if I can find my deck. Where the hell is my deck? I was going to get angel romance cards, but it's buried. Um, so, yeah, wish fulfillment is coming. This is wish fulfillment. I mean, there's no doubt about it. There's your, there's your light. There's your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You know, you had to face the rain. You had to face the misery, unfortunately, to get that pot of gold. And now that pot of gold is right here. It's here. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. We have a new passion, a new love. Absolutely, we do. It's your justice. It's what you deserve. It's what you deserve. Somebody is getting what they deserve, no doubt. Absolutely. After going through a miserable situation. Oh, I knew it. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I think it's more than one person. Somebody has been deceiving for quite some time. Staying in a situation that doesn't make them happy. Pretending. You know, fear. It's over. It's over. Somebody is making a decision to tell the truth and do the right. This the truth. The truth is coming out. Or to accept the truth, whatever the truth is, and walk away from deception into passion. That's what's going on here. Somebody is walking away from deception, walking away from a lie, walking away from a commitment that's not even happy, right into passion with somebody that is... <laughs> has angel's wings, really. I mean, it's an angel. It's, it's like, wow. Wow. Wow, wow. So yeah, you have a, it looks to me like you have a new beginning with the Wheel of Fortune. A new, a new chapter is starting in your life that you have wished for. This person is also going to help you heal. This new person is going to help you to heal and shine brighter than you've shined for a really long time. Keep that in mind. So yeah, somebody is headed right towards wish fulfillment. And that is what we have here. December, Virgo. Good luck. <laughs>